G'day you all, welcome to another little video, it's only a short one. Basically I've made some software, it's a password database for uh, gaming accounts, online accounts, email addresses, etc, etc. You can use it pretty much for anything. Um, recently I washed my hard drive and uh, lost everything, games, files, videos, you name it, I lost it all. And it was a job and a half to try and remember email addresses and passwords so I could reload stuff and what have you. Uh, I'm still in the middle of recovering and getting that stuff together. It's what triggered me to the idea that uh, if I had it all together uh, on a uh, email um, password database, so to speak, um, I could simply just put it all in there, put it on a flash drive as a backup every time I edit, save it to the flash drive backup. And if I ever lost my PC or anything like that, I simply grab my flash drive, whack it in, and uh, all my links, all my passwords, CD keys, whatever it is that I've got that's important, uh, it's all in one spot. So I've made it, I've made it free. It's free to download. Doesn't matter whether you're a member of the Anzac Gaming Community or not. You can copy it to a flash drive or a disc, or even just email the package to a mate. Um, or friend or whatever, you can use it regardless. You're going to find three, no, four total I, you're gonna find four links uh, in the actual password database. They're just simple links to the Anzac Gaming Community on Steam, Facebook, uh, my YouTube channel here. Um, so anything to do with Anzac Gaming Community, they're just simple links. So it might come up as malware if you do a scan on it. It's a positive negative, so don't be alarmed. It's just those four links it's picking up because it's a link outside the XE, the program, um, to the internet. So they're safe links to anything to do with Anzac Gaming Community. You don't have to use the links. Your friends don't have to use the links, um, but they are there, so that's... When you get a warning, it'll be a malware thing. It's just those links, positive, negative, so don't worry too much. I'm going to bring it up on screen so I can show you what we're talking about. Uh, that's the little darling there. It's a Windows-based program. Uh, as you can see from the screen, I'm looking, uh, looking that side, no, this side, it's reverse on the camera. I'll get there. I'm looking this side because uh, I've got my monitor parked over there, which I'm actually seeing the output. Um, so anyway, it's a Windows-based program. I have no idea if it works on Linux, uh, Linux, whatever it is. Yeah, Linux, another operating system. It definitely doesn't work on Apple, so any Apple users out there don't even bother downloading it. It's just not going to work unless you've got some sort of plug-in that you can run any sort of Windows program. Um, but yeah, it's a basic, simple little program. As you can see on the screen, I'll bring it up in a full screen so we can have a look. Um, I think it is. Load it. Uh, maneuver to the center of the screen. I can bring that up there. I don't know if I can size it or not. I don't think I can. But it's a small little program and it sits in your system tray. So if you hit this X, you'll turn it off. Uh, the one that's highlighted red right now. If you hit it, it'll turn it off. So wherever you've downloaded it and put the folder, whether it's in your My Documents or Images or anything that's off your desktop, wherever you put it, that's where you'll have to go to fire it up. However, if you just push this little one here, Boom, away she goes, and she's down the bottom here, parked up, ready to go. So I can pull it out and use it straight off. These are the links I'm talking about. Now, I'll click them so you can see them working. This is for the video YouTube video channel. Uh, it will load. There it is, T-Man's channel. Up there, no worries at all. Let's see if I can go to full screen. There we go, that's a lot better. So there it is, that link brings up the YouTube channel. I know it's only new. Um, I've got seven subscribers. Yeah, I've got a new subscriber. Hey, okay, we've got to get to 100. Uh, as soon as I get to 100, I can get a, um, a, what do they call it? A brand name for YouTube. So please subscribe. I know we're beginners and whatnot and pretty, pretty low ranking compared to a lot of people that are out there, but hey, we're trying. 
Um, but anyway, that's uh, well, that's one link at the top there. The other link on here is for our Anzac on Facebook. So as you can see, I click it and Facebook loads for our um, for our community on Facebook. And as you can see on Facebook, that's where you can actually go to and download the actual software, um, which is down here, and it's stored on mediafire.com. So you can download it from there. Um, I've never used it before. I was told this is a good place to upload a file. You may know a better place. If you know a better place, if, I don't know if they've got problems or not, I wouldn't have a clue. But if you know a better place, please let me know. I want to make it free for everybody. I've scanned it. It does come up with malware, uh, but it's only these links that I'm showing you now that it's, that's a positive negative. Turn that one off. The other one is our Discord channel, and it'll load Discord. At the top corner, you can see Discord loading. Um, and of course, the last one that it will load is our Steam community. Um, if you're a gamer uh, and you've got Steam, come along to the uh, Steam community. It's simply steamcommunity.com forward slash groups forward slash ASD2. That's uh, Alpha Sierra Delta 2. Uh, join our community. Be sure to find T-Man. I'm on there somewhere and send me a friend request and we'll get on there and we'll have a few games and we'll see see how we go. But that's our Steam community for Anzacs. So that's basically, um, that's basically what the links are. And if you get a warning of malware, it's because of those links. It's a link from this software to the web and it's, it's harmless. So it's a positive negative. The software itself, once you've downloaded it, you'll get it in a zip, um, a zip folder. I think it's WinRAR. Um, there's a folder inside it, which is the main folder. You just drag, uh, drag and drop the folder into your My Documents, wherever you want to store the folder. That's the main program. Just drag and drop it and double click on the um, XE that's in there. I'll see if I can bring it up. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it. I think it's in this one here. Uh, that's the one in there, yep. So as you can see, I'll drag it over. As you can see, it's in here. Um, and you just double click on the XE and it'll load your, um, it'll load the uh, bits and pieces that it needs to do and it will drop it into your system tray. I'll just turn that back off. Uh, it'll load, drop it into your system tray. Again, like I said to you, it's down there in your system tray. It'll load up. Now, you won't have a database to start with. I've got one in here already because I've already been working on it. So there it is. There it comes up as data, a passwords dat. But to get a new database, you simply go here, click new database. And I'm just going to overwrite what I've got here. So, you, you know, call it passwords, whatever you want. Uh, click save. Last me to override it. Yes, I've done it. And you'll be at record one of zero, which will be showing at the top here. Now, all you do is you put in your account details, for instance, an email address. Yeah, you've got an email address of with Yahoo. So you just type in the top field, Yahoo, in here. Um, URL, you don't need to put it in there. You can leave it blank if you want to, or just type in NA, not applicable. You put in your username for the Yahoo account. You put in your password, your actual email address. When you've signed up, you can take that out, put that in there as NA. If you bought software, you can put a value in of what you paid for. If you've got a CD key uh, from a game or anything, you can add that in that field here and any contact info. Now, the contact info is a good thing because if you make contact with someone, um, you can type in their note, spoke to Jeremy at blah, blah, blah. And he said he would resolve my problem and blah, blah, time and date it. So you'll have a record. Uh, and then, of course, any comments that you want to add yourself, like I'm, I'm upgrading the password, or I'm shutting down the email, so I need to, whatever, rah, rah. So there's a few little extra fields. Once you've done a record and put it in, you need to go up to here where it says SR, save record. It'll come up in this section up here. You'll see when you hover over button, previous record, first record. You put in a number in that field and you go jump to record if you know the record number. Uh, that's your next record. That's your last record. You can sort it. You can add a new record. You can insert a record. You can delete a record, print a record, and of course save. Whenever you put an entry in or edit an entry in a particular part of the database, always push save. 
If you don't, it will not save and your update will be gone. So for instance, you had to change your password with your email account, you put your new password in. First, copy your old one here, old password on this date, and then in here, put your new password, and then push save record. That'll secure that first record. When you've done that, I'll save this because it's got zero. So we'll save record. It'll come up here as record one of one. Now you'd go to insert record, no rather, new record, where is it? Uh, add a new record. Uh, so you go into new record and you click that and the database is now clear. It comes up here record two of one. Same thing, whatever you want, put all the data in, save record, then go to add a new record and then add a new record and put your data in, save it, add a new record, data in, save it. It will slowly build up and you'll have all your passwords, all your CD keys, all the information, contact information, everything you want for every account you've got throughout the net locked onto your PC. Now here's the key. Get yourself a little flash drive, a little thumb drive, and have it saved on a thumb drive. Now, you can have it on your computer, but if you have a backup on your thumb drive, so every time you make a change, put your thumb drive in, save the whole folder wherever you plonked it. If it's in my documents, copy it straight over to your thumb drive. Go in, you make an entry, make a change, save the whole thing, go to your my documents wherever you plonked the folder, and save it to your thumb drive, you'll always have a backup. So when you lose your hard drive, like what happened to me, um, it's gonna save you from trying to remember what was my password for that account, what did I do for this account, what did I do? Believe you me, I felt like grabbing a gun and shooting myself, it was a nightmare. So I've made this software, it's a freebie. Um, it's my birthday on July 18th, so this is my birthday present to you, happy birthday to me, but there's a gift for you. It's free, it's simple to use, it's very easy, and it'll keep everything in one spot for you. So that's basically it. Now, when it's running and you've fired it up and it's in your tray, remember, don't hit the X. If you hit the X, it shuts it off, you're gonna to have to go back to wherever you've loaded the software. Make sure you hit the minimize. If you hit the minimize, it'll go to your system tray and sit there, it uses no power at all. Uh, it's a ba basically a text program set. It's not huge. You won't even notice it. You can just simply click it, get to what you need to get to, and drop it back down. Simply click it, get to what you need to get to, and then drop it down. Mickey Mouse land. Um, that's pretty much basically it for the um, software that I've done for you. So I'm hoping you'll find use for it. Like I said, it's at our Facebook page as the link is a download. If there are any updates, that's where I'll put the updates on our Facebook page. Uh, I'm gonna try and add a search function at a later date. So it'll be easy to search for various accounts. Uh, but that's my gift to you. So give it to your buddies. You can download it, copy it, share it, move it around, give it to whoever you want, my blessings. So you all have a good day, and that's basically what I wanted to show you. So have a good one.